All right, welcome back. So I want to do a little video on um, time and what does time mean to you and, and uh, how have I been spending my time? You know, this having a terminal diagnosis really changes perspective on on time and what you do with it and what your priorities are. And it seems in the last since this whole diagnosis has come down, I don't even know, two months. I mean, I lived a lifetime of things and so I don't know let's just kind of share that maybe help help you think about what uh, use your time because we're all on a limited time schedule so we want to make the most of it but I don't want to be crazy we want to enjoy and relax do those things so anyway further ado smoking this Colorado Claro excellent cigar watch tech uh, can't see too much there let's go. I still have the old trusty uh, Casio, Oceanus, Solar, really nice. No boot check today. We're we're doing the Hoka's to keep me stable on my feet. So anyway, um, it's funny, like time takes on a whole different proportion when you know you know your time's limited. I don't know how limited my time is you know obviously it depends on these treatments and they've been going good and I think I'm feeling better but um, but time is certainly precious and I haven't had to plan a lot you know it's like God's grace I've just been given opportunities to meet up with people and family and friends and do great crazy things I mean just this week alone you know I went to the Cavs game my friend Kevin fantastic uh, seats went to uh, the marble room to eat afterwards in Cleveland um, you know yesterday my niece was up we went to the Cleveland Museum of Art after my radiation treatment um, that was really cool to get through there and gosh I mean it's just been a whirlwind I have to look at my calendar to see my co-workers came up uh, we we had a dinner in Little Italy fantastic dinner my niece was there and other friends and um, yeah, we'd go down to a cigar shop, smoke a cigar, and, uh, you know, just kind of enjoy. I'm planning on, I think uh, we're going to go to the Guardians game here coming up. And just spending time with people, you know, is very important. You know, some people say, well, have you watched this documentary or you've done this? TV doesn't appeal to me right now. You know, it's like a wasted time, you know. I mean, I've got my own adventure, you know. I mean, a good movie, I guess. Um, <laughs> my radiation friends out there in China, I know she goes to the movies and sounds like she does it right. She gets the popcorn and relaxes and all that. So I, I could do that. But, you know, just, you know, I will say on the opposite side, I love watching the Guardians. Baseball so relaxing. So um, I look forward to that. And so I don't consider that a waste of time. It's just fun. Hang with family. You know, it was an interesting little conversation I had earlier with my wife. My wife and my sister are my primary caregivers right now. And um, they're great. Um, been fantastic. You know, what a blessing. But sometimes they can overthink it. Don't tell them. But, you know, so it was like, well, Friday, my wife will come pick me up here. We'll go back up to Cleveland and stay at the Hope Lodge. I'm like, why would we do that? It's an hour, hour back home from here, an hour to Cleveland. You know, the only, you know, so obviously I want to go home. I want to go home and spend time with the dogs and the house and, you know, nothing beats home, right? I mean, the only drawback is that we got to go up for radiation on Saturday and Sunday, but it's not that big a deal. It's an hour and a half drive. So, Hope Lodge is there for, during the week. I can come home on the weekends, I want to come home. So, so that's, I think Lisa's going to come up, pick me up here instead of, you know, her idea was, well, I'll go up and stay with you at the Hope Lodge. Like no, let's just go home. So, so anyway, that's that's the plan there. And then when we go up, you know, Lisa and I can spend time. We can get something to eat. Cleveland, obviously, you've seen all the foodie stuff. Some of my friends said I should do a food tour of Cleveland video, which maybe we'll see. So time again. How do you want to spend it? You know, I mean, we all have our obligations. You know, obviously my work obligations have been 
taken from me. You know, I did a video on, on the get to versus got to. Um, but other people, you know, you got to obviously spend your time working, being productive, and then finding relaxation time. But, you know, don't, don't forget to find the joys in life. You know, life's too short. Stuff like this comes on. You never know. God forbid it doesn't happen to you, but we all are going to get something, right? And so make make good use of your time. Um, that's why these addictions are so in, insidious, right? That people get hooked on, whether it be alcohol, drugs, you know, just video games, you know, it can be such a time suck, you know? And again, if it's relaxation, but when it takes over, it's like it starts dominating your your time you know and that's not a good thing you need to you know make use of it so anyway I'll get off my soapbox um, yeah I mean in, in so many ways I'm blessed that I'm aware of this diagnosis I'm aware I use my time wisely with friends family and doing things I enjoy and don't sweat the small stuff right and in the end it's all small stuff so and stay stay connected how can you not be spiritual in a beautiful place like this? My sister's place is just wonderful. So, good seeing you all. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for your comments, and I appreciate the support.